first off, I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of our WWE journey. Training here isn't like anything you've done before. If you ask me, I think she's gonna do big things here. So it's only a matter of time before her road to Rhea ends with a terrible, violent collision. This will be a disaster of the most beautiful kind. If you wanna call me out, you can just say my name. We were born into greatness. It's in our blood. In WWE, we like to solve our problems in the ring. That was a very cute intro. I love it. Wow. This is really nice. Yep, and it's the last stop on our tour. Here you'll be evaluated by the trainers, the bosses, and your fellow wrestlers. When you're in the gym, all eyes are on you. Oh, sorry, isn't there anyone on the European side we can discuss this with? Ugh, not discuss, discuss. So, what do you think? I can't believe I'm actually here. I meant about the tour. Too rushed? I don't mind. I'm anxious to get started. We feel the same way. Sure seems like it. Oh, sorry, one of those days, you know. Listen, I've been the head recruiter here for a few years now, and I can't remember another trainee I've been this excited about. I'm finishing up a tour right now. Frankly, not one of my best. I'll be back in my office in five. Any questions? Uh, just one or two, maybe. Like, I was wondering... Great. I've got to run and deal with this. And you've she got completely the last to fill out waivers ignored and whatnot. my question. I gave you your training gear, right? No. No, you didn't. I didn't. Get started on the forms. I'll be back in a few. When WWE is trying to put smiles on people's faces all over the world, it truly is all hands on deck. I'm walking back to my office now. Walking back to... Wall King... Back to... Wow, that is some welcome party. I love it. I gotta admit though, this gym's not bad. I was wondering how I was going to go about creating my character for this series. And in all honesty, I actually have an idea on what I wanna do. I'm going to create my wrestler based off of a certain someone that I know in real life. Now I know there are a couple of background backgrounds that I can choose for my character and I've been reading a couple of them and as far as the closest accurate description to what I'm going to base this character off of, of I feel like the girl that I'm basing my character off of would be close to an MMA type of background. Yeah, she wasn't into sports during her high school years, but she really does know how to fight, honestly. And I feel like having my character as an MMA background, I mean, look at the description. A gritty and battle-tested cage fighter, you know how to handle yourself in just about any situation. That definitely sounds like the person I'm basing my character off of. So I'm going to pick this one and then after that I'm going to quickly go through my character selection. For the person who's watching this video, yeah, you inspire me, so let's get to it. We have a couple of classes that we have the option to pick. Striker, the one that likes to do a lot of quick kicks and punches, which sounds like the person that I know. Technician, which is someone who definitely does love grappling, good techniques, always ahead of the game. High flyer, basically flying in midair, risky moves. Powerhouse, basically the tank. So, all of these options are pretty cool, but like I said, I feel like Striker relates to 
the character I'm trying to create and definitely relates to the person that I'm basing this character from. So let's pick that one. Yep. Okay, and as far as Persona, you know what? Streetwear. Because, yeah, she she's in the streets. She's for the streets, but no, but more like a... I'm not taking any shit from anyone type of streets. And I feel like this one would be a good outfit for her. Okay. And, yep, I'll pick this one. Yup. And what shall we name this superstar? Um... <laughs> um... J9. J9 would be a good name. And yes, this nickname is based off of the person I'm basing off of it. So, work wife, if by some chance, <laughs> if by some chance you come across this video, this character is based off of you, okay? Now, hometown, let's make it, um, USA, because why not? We're gonna do, where's that town? Where's everyone's favorite state that, that we all like to hate? Connecticut. And then we're gonna do, I know, this one. Yep, this one. Yep, presentation name. I say, if we're gonna do a presentation name for J9, my wrestler that's based off of Work Wife, we gotta find a nice, craziest presentation name. Am I right? So I like to say, J9, the. Let me see, what's a good nickname? <laughs> Blade. That's cute. Big Meanie. Yes. Big Meanie. Sounds pretty appropriate. Especially since um, she likes to bully me constantly at work. But it's okay, though. That's how she flirts with me. I don't know why. Alright, so J9. Yep. I like this. So, in terms of the face, let me see if I can at least... Um, Oof. I'm not good with trying to match faces exactly, but let me try and at least... Let me see here. If I'm able to get some moves down for J9, I feel like I'm going to try and make sure this character is as close to J9 as possible. Now, J9, she has some moments where she's humble, and then she also has moments where she's a little cocky little shithead. Which, listen, there's nothing wrong with being cocky. I love it. She has the right balance. She really does. So, if she's gonna choose an entrance, I feel like... J9's entrance would be... this that's perfect and if she's going to have a victory then i think this would be a good victory the lucha superstar a and then in terms of taunt fighting spirit number three let me see what this looks like now nah. what about the quake yep Quake would be good, because G9, whenever she gets pissed off, that is it. And then as far as the signature is concerned, I feel like the Spanish fly would be it, because look. Wait, no? No, I don't like that one. What about this one? Damn. Okay, what about that one? Mm, what about this one? Okay. What about the shooting star? You know what? I feel like the shooting star would be good. And then as far as the finisher, 
Ooh, a kick to the face. What about this? What about that one? Ooh, yes. The headlock is nice. What about this one? Eh. What about that one? Ooh, right on the face. Okay. You know what? The headlock driver is pretty fucking hilarious. I'm gonna pick that one. Uh, wait. Statistics. What's this one? Uh, I feel like... Let me see. If I were to pick something... Oh, power of the punch. Hit your opponent with brass knuckles. Ooh. Uh, let me see. Honestly, escape a pen, submission, or elimination minigame with ease? I'll take this one. Because with J9, she really knows how to dodge stuff and knows how to get away from fights. Don't ask me how. It's based off of information she told me before. Okay, so face. Fate template. Templates. I want to see if I'm able to change her hair at least. No. Uh, nothing. Wait. I wouldn't say blemishes, but is there? No, there's no. She doesn't have any blemishes. J9 is a cutie patootie. But she is cute. Um, I don't see. Really? There's nothing. This is corny. It's like, I can't really manipulate the face like that. What about body? Body type. Oh, that's cute. Well, she's actually on the thin side to me, honestly, so I'm not going to change that. Alright, well, you know what? I'm going to leave it just like that. I could have sworn there should be a way for me to change the hair. I don't know. Oh my god, it's J9. J9 in the building. I thought England was always cloudy and raining. Isn't that like its whole thing? Hold on. All set? All set. Great. Nervous? Don't be. You've got a great look. I think you're going to enjoy your time here. Okay, I'm ready to work because J9 has terrific work ethics. Thanks. I'm just ready to work to make this dream happen. That's the right attitude. Dedication. Focus. Hey, yep, got all that. Go ahead and get changed. The other trainees should be here soon. Everyone meets in the main ring area. Will do. You're going to get a survey on how your first day orientation went. For my job security, it would be great if you could... All fives. It's out of ten. All tens. Maybe one nine, just so it doesn't look fishy. <laughs> Stupid question, <laughs> but how fast is the fastest boat? That's not that fast. I know when my work wife... Wow, okay, so... My Rise Hub. This is the My Rise Hub. You can discover new storyline opportunities from here by talking to people within this hub. Or... By replying, replying to posts and direct messages in your social media feed. Oh, wow. J9 actually has social media. You see, my work wife, she's not really into social media like that. But this would be a little bit different for the both of us. The amount of fans you have is shown in the top left corner of any hub. You can gain more fans by completing storylines and winning matches. The more fans you have, the more storylines you will be able to access. Okay, if you find yourself in a hub with no one to talk to, you can press triangle to access your MyRise hub menu. From there, you can go to your social media feed or travel to different locations in order to find new storyline opportunities. So, okay... Wow, this is so cool. 
So I got two people here. Josie Jane and Millie Fanny Fan. Right, this is cute. So yeah, like I was saying before, my work wife, if she does come across this video, I already know all the shit talk she's gonna give me. That doesn't look like me at all. Why are you gonna make me look like a white girl? Blah blah. Listen, I can't customize, okay? I forgot how to. It's not my fault. Either way, stop paying attention to the looks. Just focus on the spirit of J9 in this character, okay? Okay, work wife, work with me. If you have a problem or if you have some hints, tricks, opinions, thoughts, put it in the comments below. Or talk to me at my desk at work. I, I don't care. All right, so let me see. My Rise Hub menu. This is the My Rise Hub menu. In addition to using this menu to check your social media feed and travel to new locations for storyline opportunities, this is where you can customize your look, entrances, and upgrade your attributes. Nice. Okay, so I could try and customize the look, but I'll do that later, honestly. So far, J9 has 800 fans, which is fantastic. I'm so proud of her. She hasn't even beat anyone's ass yet, and yet she has 800 fans. You know how? That's basically my family. My family plus her family supporting her. All right, so I'm going to go with the fan. I'm intrigued. Hey, I'm Mei Lee, but everybody calls me Fanny. Nice to... Because my last name is Fan, and I'm a WWE super fan. And hopefully someday when I make it to WWE, there'll be fandemonium. Get it? <laughs> Are you okay? You don't have a lot of friends, do you? Not many. I am so excited you're here. Oh, uh, yeah. Are you an MMA fan, too? Nope. I'm just tired of being the new girl. Well, you're missing out. I don't think so. Where's the fun? Where's the drama? Where's the oiled up Roman Reigns, you know? I don't have time to watch anything but wrestling. I even follow indies like BCW. You ever heard of Buzz? No, but I can hear a loud buzzing in my head. Then again, maybe that's just you. He's probably my favorite wrestler. Don't I've be seen him mean. 2009 times. Wow, that's a lot. He actually put in a good word with management to get me in here. And this has been the best two weeks of my life. Well, maybe not quite as good as the two weeks I camped out for WrestleMania tickets in New Jersey. It was colder, but there were a lot fewer surprise super kicks. You know WrestleMania, right? Of course. Yeah, I don't live under a rock. It's only the biggest, greatest, grandest event in the entire universe. It's the crown jewel of sports entertainment. I've been six times, as a fan, obviously, but maybe, I mean, could you imagine Fandemonium in the ring at WrestleMania? Oh my gosh, she's so adorable. Is this how I talk when I get really passionate and geeky and nerdy with my favorite things? Oh my god, I don't know how you deal with me, work wife. I really don't know how you deal with me. Anything can happen in WWE, right? So who knows? Maybe I'll be right there with you. Awesome! Wow, so I really... So basically, this is a very interesting story. It's like, I talk to characters, and maybe if I get lucky, I'll just, what, end up whooping some ass? Let me take a look at Josie Jane. Let's see how J9 is going to warm up to this one. So it's another retread from the Octagon, eh? You come in here because you can actually count the number of corners on a wrestling ring? First of all, yo, if someone... You know what? This option. Oh, how about we play a little game called Count the Teeth as I Knock Them Out of Your Head. <laughs> wow, another walking, talking heavy bag who thinks she's tough. Threats like that are a dime a dozen in WWE. You're right. This isn't like MMA. There, people know better than to talk to me like this. Because if they do, they get hurt. Whatever. Training here at the PC isn't like anything you've done before. 
This is a daily assault on your body. I've been battered, bruised, pounded, and wrecked. And I Giggity. go through more ice than a Labor Day frat party. You sound pretty soft. I trained with the best in Calgary, and then spent a decade fighting the top independent wrestlers in North America. Who cares? Your little tough girl routine? As we say in Canada, that don't impress me much. Oh my god, a Shania Twain reference? Oh my god. And also, honestly, some of the lines that I'm picking out is what my work wife would say. So I'm trying to think, what would my work wife say or do? You've been wrestling for 10 years and are just now getting here? I don't know if I'd say that so loud. You're gonna embarrass yourself. We'll see who's embarrassed when we get in the ring. Hub exit icon. Throughout your My Rise, you'll see this square and arrow icon. This is the hub exit icon. When you see this icon, it means that interacting with it will ultimately lead you to exit the current hub you're in and advance the story. So when you see this icon, make sure you've done all you want to do in the hub before selecting it. I mean, I've done everything, so might as well, right? Sup, new girl. Welcome to the PC. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. Even though I'm mainly training the men right now, I'm always around if you need any advice. Good to know. One thing I can share with you right now is that in this business, Why is you he either pointing? have it or you don't. Why My he daddy point told like me that? something a long time ago. You could polish a dog turd all day. But at the end of the day, it's still doo-doo. I'm wow. not sure I totally understand. Me neither. Why would anyone even want to polish dog poo? It's disgusting. Anyway, trust your gut, pick your spots, and make sure you don't end up in the D-O-double-G house. Good luck. What's up? How's the PC so far? You getting enough protein? Only been here three hours. Three hours? You need a way shake ASAP. I knew I shouldn't have let you go there alone. I'm fine. You've got a lot of other fighters to train. I'll be fine here. I know, but it's just weird not being in your corner. This must be what a mama bird feels like. Proud of you, though. You'll be great. Thanks. I'm here to work hard. Everything else will fall into place. I'm not worried about that, but don't be afraid to ruffle some feathers now and then. You can be one of the greats. Make sure everyone knows it. Once I get in the ring, I'll show people what I can do. Oh, that's cute. I love how I'm playing a game and I'm texting. So cool. Kawaii. Woo! <laughs> First off, I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of our WWE journey. If you hadn't noticed, there's a lot going on behind the scenes today, so fortunately, I don't have time to go through the big corporate speech that old Vinnie Mac and his pals in HR require me to give every single time a new trainee arrives. So we're going to cut to the chase. Have you met Chase? He used to dress like a giant rib. Huh? Fanny, zip it. Sorry, Mrs. Glamazon. Okay. As you may or may not know, the WWE superstars just finished up a huge European tour. Unfortunately, a big storm hit, and now their plane won't make it back in time for Raw in Miami tonight. Damn, there that are sucks. a few superstars who weren't on the tour that are able to make the show, but now Sasha Banks doesn't have an opponent. OMG, the bus! Fanny! Anyway, we heard from Raw GM Mandy Rose that they're scrambling to find someone to take on Sasha. So, that's where one of you comes in. I'm already packed. Let's go. That's great. But we haven't made a decision on which one of you will face Sasha tonight. And in WWE, we like to solve our problems in the ring. Dun, There's dun, no dun. decision. It's me. She started hyperventilating the moment Beth walked in. You think she can wrestle on live television in front of the entire WWE universe? She is so obnoxious. I'll be fine. Whoa, whoa, getting dizzy. 
I better sit down. Yeah. Okay. I'm out. And she hasn't been here long enough to know where the restrooms are. Third door on the right. <gasps> it's second door on the left, but close. Okay. Look, we're on a tight schedule. So we need to make a call, one way or another. Josie, you've been a bit banged up recently. Are you even up for this match? I can do it. Sasha Banks won't know what hit her. Okay, problem solved. Josie will go face Sasha. Not unless she gets through me first. The decision has already been made. Oh, I yeah? In WWE, we solve our problems in the ring. Yeah, most of the time we do. But this is different. We're on a time crunch here. Sean, she's got a point. Okay, okay, That's fine. That's right. Let me fight. Let J9 fight. Oh, when shit. it goes to Raw to face Sasha Banks. And whatever you do, make it quick. I just realized something. I don't know how to wrestle. Oh, <laughs> Lord. You know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to make J9 proud. You hear me, work wife? I'm going to make you proud. Whoa. How? Oh, shit. Okay. I am randomly pressing so many buttons. Oh, corneo. Oh. How? Triangle. Fuck. Okay. Triangle. No. No! Fuck. Triangle! Come on! What the hell? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Can I get out of this? Nah? Shit. Come on, J9. No! Damn. Come on! No! No! Come on. No! Come on! Come on! Come on! Whoop her ass. There you go, J9. Whew. Damn, this is some crazy shit. Okay. Mm. Come on, bitch slapper. There you go. Damn. Oh, shit. Ooh. Oh. I mean, I gotta admit, I don't know what I'm doing, but fuck it. Come on. Try. Oh, fuck. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I don't know what to do. No! Shit. Bye. You think you could get rid of me that easily? Come on, J9. Come on. Get up, J9, please. Fuck. Damn. Damn. No, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna try and win. I really am going to try and win, though. Come on. Damn, man. What the fuck? Nope. Lord, have mercy. Come on. How is she doing 20,000 moves and I can't even get out? Yo. Yo, what is this? Bro. Nope. Come on. Come on. Bye. Ugh, damn. No! Shit! Come on! How am I supposed to? Bro. Get up! Get up! Woo! Woo! There you go. I am beating her ass. Oh, wait. Wait, this. Pin? Art? This? Oh, okay. Yep, this one. Damn. Okay, another one, another finisher. Let's go. Damn. Damn, that's crazy. Can I pin? Can I pin her? No, I'm gonna do another one. Oh, fuck. Okay. Nope. Come on. J9, let's go. Bitch! How the hell? Fuck. No. Oh, fuck. This is crazy. Come on, J9. Damn. J9, come on. Shit. Get up, J9. How do I get out? Oh, fuck. What the hell? Damn. 
This, she thinks she got me. I'm not gonna give up. It's whatever. I'm not, I'm not gonna give up. Come on. Shit. How do you expect me to press these circles? Oh, shit. Nope. Come on. Fuck. Oh. Fine. Thank you so much for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.